Hello po, ang vlog ko po ngayon ay tungkol po sa motion for issuance of rate of demolition. Demolition na po tayo, part part 6 na po, nung video ko pong ejectment case. So, nakapile po sa Department of Agrarian Department of Agrarian Reform Adjudication Board. Part 6 na po ito, yun rate of demolition na po. Kasi po, yun pag-implementation po ng order na hindi po umalis yun mga mga defendant ay kailangan pong mag-motion ng rate of demolition para po demolitionin yung bahay nila kasi hindi po sila umaalis. Titignan po natin kung ito po ay mag-grant ng korte na demolitionin po yung mga bahay ng defendant. Ang sabi po dito sa motion for assurance of threat of demolition, come now, plaintiff through counsel and unto his honorable court, respectfully state, number one, on April 13, 2022, sheriff submitted his report as followed, that on 18 day, Of February 2022, the undersigned personally served the hair and attach notice to vacate to above name defendant at Barangay Dungan Diet Camarines Norte. Number two, that despite of lapse of the given period, defendant is still refused to peacefully vacate and turn over the property subject matter of this case. Number three. Related thereto, Section 10, Paragraph D of Rule 39 provides D. Removal of, imp of improvements on property subject of execution. When the property subject for the execution contain improvements constructed or planted by the judgment obligor or his agent, and office shall not destroy, demolish, or remove said improvements except upon a special order of the court. Issue upon motion of the judgment of Lord. After due hearing and after the former has failed to remove the same within reasonable time fixed by the court. Number four. As in, as in this case, defendant fail, failed to remove their house illegally constructed on plaintiff property within the time afforded to them. Hence, this motion. Therefore, premise consider it is respectfully pray of this honorable court that the rate of demolition be issued pursuant to section 10, paragraph D of rule 39. Other relief just and equitable under the premise are likewise prayed for. Da et Camarines Norte, May 5, 2022. Ito ang nakapirma counsel of the plaintiff. Meron siyang IBPOR number 1538588. Ganun. So, hindi ba gano'n natin banggitin yung pangalan? Yung sa baba niya, explanation. Copy of this pleading was served through register mail with return card due to distance constraints and lack of miserangel stop to effect personally delivery. Copy for Nesh, plain tip. Yung plain tip. Naipail na po namin itong motion. Motion for assurance of rate of demolition. Pagka ilan araw po, mayroon dumating na order galing po sa korte. Ang sabi po ng order, this office in, is in oh, this office is in receipt of the motion for assurance of rate of demolition from the plaintiff through counsel on May 25, 2022. However, It was noted that the counsel of the defendant was not furnished with a copy of the said motion. It must be stressed that a motion of assurance of right of demolition is a litigious one. A litigious one daw, dahil daw, hindi nabigyan ng copy furnished yun counsel ng defendant. It must be stressed. Ay, siya na yun, nabasa ko na yun. This forum them, it's proper to have full compliance in the notice requirements. By furnishing copy of the same, not only 
to the party but also their council. The record revealed that the dependent are being represented by the council from the Bureau of Legal Assistant from the Dar Central Office. The said council must them must them be furnished with copy of the motion. The record showed that there is no other council in the entry his appearance to represent by the plain dependent. In fact, this office received information from Bureau of Agrarian Legal Assistance of Dardaet, Camarines Norte, that it has already withdrawn as counsel from the dependent. Thus, the notice to the to the present counsel would ensure that the rights of the dependent will be properly protected by every state of the proceeding of this case. Therefore, the mobile through council is hereby directed to furnish the counsel of the dependent with a copy of the motion for assurance of breadth of demolition. The proof of service must be filed before this forum, before it can act on the motion. So order, June 1, 2022, Daet, Provincial Agrarian Reform Adjudicator, or my firma. Dahil po dun sa order na yun, ay nagpadala po kami ng copy dun sa council po ng dependent sa Manila. At pagkaraan naman po ng ilan araw, meron naman pong order na dumating sa amin. Ito ang sabi, order. On June 3, 2022, this office received the compliance of the plaintiff to the order date June 1, 2022. The plaintiff served as a copy of the motion of the assurance of breadth of demolition to the counsel of the dependent attorney Enrique of the Bureau of Legal Assistant, Dar Sintar. This said compliance is admitted and will form part of the record of this case. The requirements of notice to the parties shall their counsel are complied with. However, on June 9, 2022, this office received a pleading which incorporate has entry of appearance of attorney ED as the new counsel of the dependent. A. Ah, motion for reconsideration in the opposition of the motion of assurance of the assurance of breadth of demolition. Copy of the said pleading was furnished to the counsel of the plaintiff attorney MG in the same date of June 9, 2022 through registerment. Wherefore, in the interest of the fair play, the plaintiff and their counsel are hereby directed to file their comment on the above, above mentioned pleading of the counsel of the dependent within 10 days from receipt of their order. The entry of appearance of attorney E.D. as counsel of the dependent is recognized. The clerk of the adjudicator is directed to furnish the counsel of all the orders and assurance emanating for from this forum in the address is giving this pleading. Let the hearing on the motion of assurance of threat of demolition be set on June 14, 2000, uh, July, July 14, 2022 at 9 in the morning at office. So order, June 15, 2022, Diet Marines North. O meron na pong hearing sa July 14, 2000, tungkol po dun sa threat of demolition. So nag-comment po kami dun sa opposition at ang sabi namin, Plaintiff mobile through counsel respectfully state, number one, dependent are interposing opposition to the motion of assurance of the threat of demolition, contending that they were not notified that the resolution of their motion of reconsideration of the decision rendered on December 6, 2019. They blame, so may sinisisi silang attorney, who allegedly failed to file their appeal with the Court of Appeal, despite manifesting their desire before him to elevate this case to the affiliate court. They, pre they presented their here to the alert screenshot of their message with um, attorney. Number two, by the way of position to the demolition dependent content that they remain to be qualified beneficiary of the agrarian reform program hence they invoke that that they deliver with cloa first on the land to which they may be entitled as beneficiary before they require to vacate vacate 
and leave the retention area from the plaintiff, which is the subject matter of this case. Dependent invoke justice and equity in seeking prior assurance of their CLOA before they be made to leave the property of the plaintiff. Plain, number three, plaintiffs are constrained to disagree on the afford site objection of defendant. Number four, based on the record, defendant were ended represented by the Bureau of Legal Assistant in their appeal with the Darab. Also, they filed a motion for reconsideration of the decision through attorney. Thereafter, no further proceeding or legal remedy were availed by dependents. Hence, the decision became final and executory. Number five, according to dependent, however, they were not able to receive the resolution on the motion for re reconsideration. <laughs> and if ever they was mail served upon. Oh, wag na natin yung basahin. Number ten, the foregoing decision has no pending that dependent are qualified beneficiary to any particular land holding or to other land holding of plaintiff which had not been subject matter of this case as much a decision is clear as to its, to its executory in imposing no condition whatsoever before dependent may be evicted from the land hence dependent demand for prior assurance of CLOA and their favor before they be ordered to vacate the land is baseless. Therefore, premise consider it is respectfully pray of this honorable office that the motion of demolition be granted on the opposition be denied. The demolition of the structure of dependent is ordering to be imposed in the decision and should be already been complied at the time of execution. Other relief just and equitable under the premise are likewise pray for that the Marinis Norte 2000 June 2 2022 so magkakaroon na po ito ng hearing sa July 14 kung magagrant po yun pinagpile namin na threat of demolition para i-demolish po yun mga bahay nun dependent na ayaw pong umalis dun sa lupa na retention area po so kaya Meron pa po itong kadugusong. Kaya, dito muna po ito. Hanggang dito muna po ito. May kadugusong pa po. Sa, ang kadugusong po ito ay babasahin ko ulit sa susunod po. Kung ano po ang mangyayari kung magagrant ko. Sige, babay muna po. Music